This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 3.3. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 3 Supplemental Problems, starting on page 4. Given the circuit, which has resistors and voltage sources in it, could you solve for the current I sub X using the mesh current method? In the class notes, we had a four-step algorithm for doing that. Steps 1 and 2 were to assign the mesh currents and to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. Since this was called I sub X, I'll call this mesh current I sub X. I'll call this one I sub Y and I sub Z. We can pick them in any order, but once you pick them, just stick with them. Now to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law, I need to assign a polarity. We'll call this plus and minus, plus and minus, plus and minus, plus and minus. It too is arbitrary. Once you pick it, just stick with it. Let's go around mesh X here. The rise in voltage is equal to drop. So let's go around this mesh. So I got a rise in voltage of three, a rise of 20, and a rise in voltage across the 1K resistor. And I'll call that V sub 1K. I have a drop of 15 and then a drop across the 3K resistor. 3 plus 20 is 23. And now the current in this element with a polarity that I've picked is going to be the current in this direction minus the current in this direction. It's going to be I sub Y minus I sub X times the resistance of 1K. The drop across here is going to be the current in this direction, which is just I sub X times 3K. Bring the 15 on this side of the equation, so I get 8. I'll put this on the other side of the equation, so I get a minus 1k times I sub y, and I get a 1k times I sub x plus, added to 3k times I sub x, so I get 4k times I sub x. I have one equation and three unknowns. I really have zero times I sub z. Let's go around mesh two and do the same thing. Rise in voltage equal to drops. Here's a rise in voltage of 15, a drop across the 1k, so here's a rise and here's the drop, and I have another rise in voltage across the 4k resistor call that V sub 4K. Rise in voltage, there, equals the drops around the loop. You have two rises and one drop. The voltage across the 4K resistor is going to be the current, because of the polarity I've picked, the current in this direction minus the current in this direction. In other words, I'm finding the current here. I sub Z minus I sub Y times 4K. The current in this element, and as I've picked the polarity, forces the current in this direction. So it's going to be I sub Y minus I sub X, as we showed before. Let's group everything together. So I've got 15. I've got 4K times I sub Z. So I'll put that over here as a minus 4K times I sub Z. And I've got a minus 4K times I sub Y. On the other side of the equation becomes a plus 4K times I sub Y plus 1K gives me 5K times I sub Y. And then lastly, I've got minus 1K times I sub X. Here's my second equation in the three unknowns, I sub X, I sub Y, and I sub Z. Let's do our third equation around the, the last mesh. Rise in voltage is 30. You start anywhere you want. I just want to come back to the start point. So rise in voltage equals two drops. 30 volts is equal to the voltage across the 2K resistor plus the drop across the 4K resistor as I pick the polarities. The 2K resistor is just going to have the current in this direction, which is just I sub Z times 2K. And the current in here is going to be I sub Z minus I sub Y. Pick a direction of current based on your polarity and solve for the current. In this case, two mesh currents are flowing in this element, but we've picked them all clockwise. It's going to be the difference of the two. I sub Z minus I sub Y times 4K. Group the terms together again. I've got 2K times I sub Z and I've got 4K times I sub Z. So I got 6K times I sub Z and I've got a minus 4K times I sub Y. Here's my third equation in the three unknowns. Let's put this in matrix form. Our first equation was that 8 is equal to 4K times I sub X minus 1K times I sub Y and then 0 times I sub Z. The second equation was 15 is equal to minus 1K times I sub X 5K times I sub Y minus 4K times I sub Z. Our last equation was that 30 was equal to 0 times I sub X minus 4K times I sub Y plus 6K times I sub Z. Since we have a 3 by 3 matrix, let's use MATLAB to solve for the current I sub X, and that's be our step 3 in our algorithm. We'll say that this is V is equal to R times I, but it's matrices. So V is equal to 8 in the first row, 15 in the second, and 30 in the third row. We use semicolons to start a new row. When you hit enter, it just echoes back that vector, which is agreeing with what we have. If it's incorrect, just go back and correct it using the arrow keys. For our matrix, we've got in the first row 4K, minus 1K, and 0. I'll separate those with commas. You can also separate them with spaces. Here's my 4K, minus 1K, and 0. Semicolon starts a new row, minus 1K, 5K minus 4K, semicolon, start another row, 0 minus 4K, 6K. Hit enter, it gives you back the matrix. You can check whether it's the same entries that you wanted. If not, again, you can go back and correct them. 
And then to do the matrix division, we're going to solve for i by taking the matrix r into the matrix v. And we get three answers out. I'm going to put it in the short e format. So be in power of 10 format. First answer is i sub x, the second is i sub y, and the third is i sub z, but all I want is i sub x. Of course, you have the same thing here. You just move the decimal point over, but it's just uh, having the software do it for you. And then our last step is to complete the problem. I'm trying to solve for i sub x, and that's equal to 6.44 milliamps. And this is supplemental problem 3.3.